Now let's have a look at the first way in which costs can behave or change in relation to the activity level or number of units. So our example of making tables, which of the costs will increase every time we make an additional table? So here's two, there's the wood and then John's time spent. There's also the nails and the glue. All of those would increase every single time when we make an additional table. So that is called a variable cost or um, a cost that varies. But it varies in a very specific way. So let's look at it. Let's plot this on the graph. So when we make one table, it might cost us 100 for wood. So we'll only look at the wood in this example. How much would it cost us in total for wood if we make two tables? So the second table would use the same amount of wood than the first table. They look the same. So it'll cost us an extra 100. So in total, 200 for wood. So let's plot this on the graph. Now, what if we increase production to five tables? How much would our total wood cost then be? 100 per table is 500 in total. So if we draw a line through these points, you can see it's a straight line that increases in direct proportion to the number of tables or the activity level. And it starts right at zero. So that means if we don't make any tables during a specific month, we won't spend anything on wood. So that's a variable cost. It varies in direct proportion to the number of units. So now let's quickly look at a variable cost on a per unit basis. So if we make one table, we said it costs us 100 per table. So we can plot that there. What if we make two tables? Remember, they both look the same. They both use the same amount of wood. So on a per unit basis, it'll still be 100 per table. Now, even if we make five tables, it'll still only cost us 100 per table. So you can see a variable cost stays fixed on a per unit basis, or it stays constant on a per unit basis. So it's a flat horizontal line. And that would be the same for John's cost. So John might spend two hours per table and charge us 100 per hour. So it cost us 200 per table for direct labor or for labor. And that would stay 200 per table regardless of the number of tables we produce. So that's a variable cost. It varies in direct proportion to the number of units, or it changes um, in direct proportion to a change um, in the activity level. Mm -hmm.